Hello YouTube and YouTube viewers, it is Cody Williams again, and I was about to film a video for you guys, but I got sucked into a few conversations about balloon storage. So I was going to make a quick video for you guys, it's going to be about how I store my balloons, uh, how I organize, um, what kind of conditions I keep them in. I'm pretty much a stickler for that, so that's why someone asked me to do this. And I'm going to even show you my apron setup. So, without further ado, we're going to come this way a little bit. Just ignore the messy room, office, garage studio I use here. Close enough. Awesome. So, I have a stacker set up. I take all my balloons, when I order them, I pull them out of the Qualtex bags, and I put them straight in the Ziploc bags. Uh, I just do this so that there's no airflow as much and it's more protected against the elements. Um, so, here's my quick organization I have. So, this takes a relatively small amount of room. If you're a professional balloon artist, this is your job. Um, you should basically have a say, ugh, have a space set up for all your supplies of your work. So, um, my last place I had a room dedicated to balloons. Um, I'm in more of a studio setup right now, so I have a corner dedicated to balloons. So, <clears throat> what we're gonna show you now. All right, so my top drawer is all five-inch prints. So this drawer is just purely prints. That way, I don't mix my prints in my rounds because that gets annoying and hard to find around. The next drawer, it's a plastic sheet, so it doesn't want to go in. There we go. The next one we have is all my rounds. These are just stuff I use in my apron, just my regular five inch rounds. Next is Q links. Uh, I have this drawer divided in half six inch Q links, 12 inch Q links. And I definitely keep a good inventory of those, considering I just made a DVD on them. I use them a lot. Um, <clears throat> hearts and specialty balloons. So I usually use Qualtex hearts. I bought some metallic recently to play with them. Um, I don't usually discriminate around balloons. I go by whichever one I like better. But for hearts, I definitely go Qualtex, hands down. Um, <clears throat> next is B bodies and geos. I don't use this very often, so they're there. One sixties. All in Ziploc bags, I use the uh, quart size for 160s, and I use gallon size for 260s. So this drawer, we've got 160 to 350s, all in Ziploc bags again, 260s, all in Ziploc bags again, and this one is a mix between large rounds I use for decor and assorted 260s I give to other artists that work with me. Okay, so that's that part. That's just like, oh, and uh, I have a mini stacker over here that's for pens, cutters, uh, lubrication, full, or lubrication, lubrication for my Magiloon. I use it a lot. Actually, I use Magiloon like crazy <clears throat> because I can't mouth inflate really well. Doesn't mean I want to for eight hours. So, uh, Ziploc bags batteries, extra straps, basically balloon extra materials, and this is full of magic tricks. So, oh, and this is pretty awesome. Uh, my friend April Pulley gave me this. I think I'm borrowing it for an extended amount of time. It's basically meant for stretching out your wrists to avoid carpal tunnel and things like that. So if you guys are twisters, make sure you stretch before and after every gig. Um, you don't need a sponge to do that. You can just stretch your wrists out. Oh, you know, I have a cat who's around here somewhere, it's right there. <clears throat> Alright, and when I do a long event outdoors, I use a cooler to keep my balloons in. Um, I have a 28 quart. It fits my apron perfectly. That's why I have it. Um, business cards. Cool. Apron. So my apron's pretty interesting. Oh, another thing I do, when, this is my stores for when... Monday through Friday, or however this is on my balloons are stored. If there's a some reason, if I'm injured, or if I'm not gonna be twisting for a while, or I'm out of town, I put my balloons in a big comforter bag, and I vacuum it shut, and seal it. They'll last forever, well, a long time. So I don't want my balloon and apron to get bad, I don't wanna put these back into bags, so I'll put the whole thing in a big bag. Um, but I typically work uh, every other day or so, or make a balloon every other day, so. 
I don't need to do that very often. I go through this once a week. I'll, I'll burn through it at least. Well, I'll burn through it the entire apron in a full day, but you know what I'm trying to say. I burn through that a lot. Uh, so, apron. My setup here. Um, no color reel. Don't, don't judge me. <clears throat> because my first apron setup I just put Valentine stuff together, I put blue with yellow together, and brown with black together. That was just my first setup. So I got used to grabbing these angles. And as I started getting more balloons, I just started just adding instead of reorganizing. Um, so I only carry around a few 350s and a few 646s, and I have a little assorted batch of 160s. I need to refill it. But um, these are the colors I use. Press pause if you want. These black 260s are hiding down here. They're a little low. But I only carry red, blue, brown, uh, yellow orange and gray and green and white and pink 350s. I don't use them that often, so I use them for special characters. Um, 646s, I always have yellow. We all know why. Uh, gold for Master Chief helmet and blush in case I feel like making something really big and red. And just assorted. <clears throat> I definitely carry blush and gold and red 350s. Mando. Uh, Alright, and then so I carry a, a little low, some headbands I put in between the strap. So it sits right there. In this back pocket, I've got Winnie Pooh, Tip Bee Bodies, um, Spider Eyes, Chewing Gum. This side, I got just some sort of rounds, yellow and blue, and a couple of just shapes that I, I kind of sometimes use. I kind of just kind of mix them up right here. That's really bad, but it's not very organized. My first main pocket is always hearts. I have the Valentine assortment. And if I have other colors like green for Yoshi or whatever, those are over here. Uh, this is my three main rounds I use. White, black, and gray are my three main rounds I have right here. Um, back here I'll have like orange and yellow and things like that in this bucket. Uh, clear rounds, ninja heads, um, yellow hearts and yellow rounds. Nope, just yellow hearts. Yellow rounds right here. Sometimes I dig for a minute. <laughs> and this one's a Marvel assortment and human faces. Basically, Superheroes. The human faces I use for uh, Superman and things like that. This side is, uh, I've got the black Spider-Man, uh, red Spider-Man, alien, monkey. This one I've got skulls, ladybugs, and Batman. i got to keep the blacks in different pockets. Um, squeakers, pens, business cards, buttons, you are a cutie. And I twist for tips. I keep a small button. I don't have that really big button like um, some companies have. I try to be a little more discreet, but I do want them to know I work for tips. Or accept tips, don't work for tips. That'd be terrible. <clears throat> um, yeah, straws. Um, I don't use glow sticks. They're too expensive. I use straws. So I just grab some every shift. Just grab a handful and do that for roses and things. Um, paint pens. Edding is the best. I need to buy one. I was trying out Sharpie paint pen, dries really slow, and this one was two bucks, so I'm testing that one out. It's uh, Craft Smart. I got it from Michaels, and it works well for two dollars. Um, works about as good as a Sharpie, a white tip Sharpie. Cool. That's my apron. This is my business card, but they're really weird because they're blank on both sides. But I can scan them out, turn them in, print them in color. Just don't lose them like that. Yeah, that trick. Cool. So there's that. So a little bit of Q&A I got asked. Temperature, storage, cooling, swamp coolers, dry deserts, mountains. What elements hurt your balloons? Uh, heat hurt always hurts your balloons. Extreme cold will hurt your balloons. Well, frozen extreme cold, not like cool. I doubt it's something inhabitable. It will never get too cold. Um, someone recently came across a problem that I came across a long time ago. And that's swamp coolers. Swamp coolers destroy balloons just terribly. So if you have a swamp cooler in your house, make sure you, everything's sealed. All your balloons are just sealed and in a room on their own with a closed window so that it doesn't get too much flow. Um, if you live in the desert, you might be thinking that the dry desert's drying out your balloons, but it's not. It's actually the swamp cooler that's doing it. Um, I stopped using a certain distributor because they cooled their warehouse with a swamp cooler. So I stopped using them. The balloons came brittle a lot. Um, yeah, keep them out of the sun. Just obvious. 
So you want your balloons in a cool, dry place. That's just what it comes down to. Don't leave them in your car, um, other than driving around to gigs. Keep them out of the sun. If uh, I always keep a jacket in my car, like a thick winter jacket. One, because I live in Flagstaff. And two, because I want to cover my apron. So if I have my balloons in the back on the floor, I'll cover them with my jacket so the sun keeps off of them. Because um, the worst thing is if you pop a balloon at a you know restaurant or birthday party by blowing it up. And everyone looks at you like you're a terrible artist because your balloon popped way beyond your control. Um, so that's about the gist of it. If you have any questions, you guys can write me in the comments below. I, uh, now that YouTube's sending me emails again instead of just Google+, Plus, uh, I'm a little better at replying. Um, ask me questions about however you want balloon storing. The, uh, as for that DVD I filmed, it comes out in a few days. So I'm taking down the pre-orders by Friday. It's done. So then you have to buy it at full price of $25. So if you haven't done it yet, I'll put a link down here for pre-orders. But uh, we're still pushing that release date of March 1st. So it's going to start shipping that day. Not like it's going to be in your mailbox. That's when I get the master key finished. Like, not the one that opens the dungeons, you know, Zelda, but the uh, the master CD key. So that one I'll be able to start distributing them that way. Um, other than that, I'm going to make some tutorials for you guys. About, about to make me a balloon artist game. So, uh, yeah. Try force. You guys have a great day today. A better tomorrow. God bless you guys. Hopefully this helped you out in how I do my balloon storage and how to keep your balloons lasting as long as possible because this is your inventory. I go through mine regularly and, and make sure I'm not wasting money and wasting balloons. You know, I was hoping to do this all in one go and forgot something pretty important. You notice these weren't in my apron at all? I did. So, uh, Q-Links, I go through them too fast to put inside of a strap because they don't hold enough. And I just, I don't know, just to me it seems silly to put rounds in a strap. So, I um, <clears throat> say um a lot. I use a side pouch. And twist them up, and this one is just full of Q-Links. I just assort them. It's not organized. One thing I'm not great at is organization during a shift. I really dig around a lot, but I'm kind of limited by how much room I have because I'm still using an apron. I don't use a cart. I'm all about the apron so I can be mobile and walk around. So I use that on my right side, the Q-Links, and usually I'm pretty quick at you know, grabbing a handful, seeing the color I want, and using it. I use another twist them up side pouch on this side and this is for tips in this pocket and trash in this pocket. So yeah, anyways, alright, I think I got it all now, alright!